Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, my name is Cheyenne. I'm 21 years old, and I'm currently pregnant with my first baby. Today's video, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be starting a series called Try It, where we are going to show you everything that we have set up for baby. We're gonna talk about nursery organization, we're gonna talk about baby essentials, and over the next few months, I'm going to try these things out and see if the organization I've planned worked out or if I had to change it. If these things I'm gonna show you are worth the money or maybe you should get the full price item or maybe you should get a dupe because it's kind of overhyped and come back and give you guys my true honest opinion of how things work. For today's video, I'm gonna be talking about all the essentials that I have bought my baby, not including clothing. If you would like to see a clothing haul or all the things that I got from my baby shower, those are gonna be up in the playlist here. You should definitely go check those out after this video and let's get right to it. The first item on this list is a baby Bjorn. So for us, we knew that we wanted to get some kind of chair jumper thing for the baby. And I know a lot of people really like the Mamaru, but the Mamaru is a bit bulkier and it's something that I don't know if we have really the space for it to be comfortable for us to have it. Now, if we move on and we feel like we need one, then we can get one. But I wanted to start with the baby Bjorn because it's easy to clean, easy to store, easy to set up, super light to move. So overall, it just seemed like everything that matches our lifestyle, the size of our apartment, and what we needed. So I'm really excited to try this out. With the Baby Bjorn, I also got a little toy arch. This is just something I got off Amazon for I think like $20. Everything will be linked down below, but I'm super excited about it. It looked cute, it was inexpensive, it had really good reviews, and I'm sure if we end up not using the Baby Bjorn or not as much as we think we will or whatever, we will definitely be using the toy arch. We can put it on the stroller, we can put it in the crib kind of wherever we need it to be, tummy time things. So I'm not worried about getting use out of that. The next item on our list is our changing pad. I'm super excited about this because we got the Bumbo and it's one that we don't have to wash anything. We can just wipe it down. I think it is a great size. It fits really nicely on our baby's dresser and it's just a really good material and I'm just really excited to use it. The next item on our list is our car seat and stroller combo. Now this is the number one thing that I am the most worried about because me and my husband just moved to New York and New York is very different than Arizona where I come from and I just didn't know what kind of stroller New Yorkers would use, what would make sense for it and I have seen so many different kinds used throughout the city at parks and just like throughout the day but at the end of the day, I became so overwhelmed looking at reviews and recommendations and talking to people that what I decided to do was to get a cheaper option that was still nice, had really good reviews that people in my life recommended and use that for a while. But if it's too bulky or too heavy or whatever, it doesn't really seem to match what I need for New York, then I would donate it and get a different kind, which I understand is a blessing in itself that I can believe that we will have the extra money to buy a different stroller but strollers are super expensive and I really did not want to buy an expensive one if I don't need it. I don't want to go out and get something that we just aren't going to use. So I really just wanted to get one that had good recommendations, that has good reviews, that I'm pretty sure will work for us. And if it doesn't, I don't think it's gonna be because it's not a good stroller, but maybe because it's not a good stroller for New York. On the topic of baby transportation, we have our baby carrier. So this is what the name of the brand is. I have no idea how to say this, but this is what it is. And I'm super excited about it because I think we are going to use a baby carrier a bit more than the stroller at the beginning because a lot of the places that we go to during the day or like throughout the week are very close by. We have neighborhood grocery stores, we have our bodega, we have uh, like a TJ Maxx and a Marshall down the street, but they have escalators. And I don't really want to try to deal with escalators and strollers right now if I don't have to. So if we really need to, I just think a baby carrier is going to work really well for us for the first few months and maybe we'll transition more into using the stroller as the baby gets bigger, but I'm really excited about having the baby carrier. The next item we have is something that's really important to me and it is a baby breathing monitor. So I was originally going to get an outlet sock. I really, really want one. I think they are one, very pretty looking, but two, just, I don't know, I'm just overwhelmed with them. They're so pretty, I love them, I am drawn to them. But after buying a Baby Bjorn and a stroller and a crib, I just couldn't stomach the thought of giving $300 to another baby thing. So I was like, if I can't find anything else, I will get it, but I did a lot of research. I looked up tons of different brands, I looked up tons of different options, and the one I went with was the Sensu Baby, and this is, what it looks like it just kind of clips 
onto their diaper and it is for particularly breathing, rolling over, and then overheating and cold alerts. So it's a little bit different, but I am very excited for this because I am an anxious person and I know that I already have a hard time sleeping. I'm already gonna have a hard time sleeping, you know, feeding the baby every two hours. And I need something that will help me be able to sleep knowing that my baby is okay. And I think that that is like the most important thing I could do. The most important thing I could get for myself is one of those. So I'm really excited about it. I will be doing a full review on it because I do think that those are very important. But like I said, everything is linked down below and it has awesome reviews on Amazon. And what I mean by awesome reviews, not all of them are five stars. There are tons of different reviews on it, but all of the reviews on there that I saw are really, really well written. So the ones that are one star explain why. The ones that are five star explain why. And I think, I think it has just a really, really good review. There are a lot of reviews and there are other monitors like it. So if that one doesn't work for you, you can look at some other ones but I'm really excited about this choice. Continuing the conversation of baby health, I got some baby bottles. So I'm really excited about these baby bottles because they're super easy to clean. They are awesome. They are plastic, like a nice soft plastic. I think that they will just work really, really well. They are made to imitate like the feeling of a boob. So hopefully baby will like it. I do plan on breastfeeding and pumping. So that's why I wanted to get the bottles just to be sure that we had them. But I also might end up doing formula. I don't know. I don't plan on using formula right now, but I do want to go back to working relatively quickly after I have my baby. I will be doing school full time online. So there is a lot of things that could happen. And I just wanted to make sure we had a good set of bottles. With that, we did get a bottle cleaning set, obviously, you know, kind of clean the stuff I got from my baby. But I'm just really excited about these and I think they're super cute, have really good reviews. And most importantly, they are easy to clean. So I'm very excited about them. The next item we have is our Frida thermometer. It is a three in one for rectal, oral and underarm temperatures. I made sure to get a three-in-one thermometer because I know a lot of people say that the rectal is the best way to get baby temperatures when they're little, but I wanted to make sure we could have one, you know, to use as I get older and we might not want to do rectal. So I wanted to make sure I could get one that we could keep using. The next item we have is our nose, Frida. This thing is super cool. It helps get little boogers out of baby's noses. And before you like vomit or like tell me why would you do that, you do not get any chance of them touching you because there is a beautiful stopper in it but it's just really useful and there are other options but this is just the one that i wanted to go with this is the one that i think will work best for us i then got a bunch of bibs these were just a set off of amazon and these were highly recommended one these are little muslim bibs multi-colors because babies drool a lot and i just wanted to have these just on hand make sure we had them. They were pretty inexpensive. And as you can see, it was a set of five. So I would recommend these. They are soft. They are nice. I like them. Obviously, I don't have a baby. So we'll find out if I really like them. But they seem they seem good. The last health thing we have is butt paste. So babies need butt paste. And this is one that I saw a lot of people recommend. I didn't mean to get it in such a small size, but I got the original one. And then this one is the extra strength. And it came with a little spatula to put it onto baby's butt, which I think is pretty nice. And I'm excited to try these out and, you know, get more if I like them or switch to a different one because there's tons of butt creams out there. This is just one that I have heard a lot about, seen a lot of reviews, and I wanted to try out. The last thing that I got was black and white stimulated pictures. What I mean by that is when babies are little, they have to look at high contrast items to stimulate their little baby brains. So the first thing I got was this really cute book called Black Cat and White Cat. And I just, I love it. It makes me very happy. It is very cute. We have some kitties here. We have a white cat and then like a dark brown cat. So it's sort of our cats, but it's really cute. It's nice because I think I'll easily be able to just like have it sit in front of the baby when they're doing tummy time because it's just like a nice like hard book. And then I also got little like flashcards, which these are super nice because it has white contrast and then on the back are black contrast. So you have like a ton, you know, you have I don't know how many, I'm not gonna count, but you have a ton of these. And there's so many options on Amazon, which is so cool, so fun. So if you know, if we need more, or if we wanna get different ones, you definitely can. There's so many on Amazon. We love Amazon. I mean, we love Amazon. 
those are all the baby essentials we have. I know that not all of these things are necessarily essential, essential. You could get away without using them. I just think everything on this list is things that would make having a baby, taking care of a baby so much easier in today's society and time frame and how families kind of work now but also on top of that these are just things that I think are essential to my family but like I said in a couple months I'm going to come back do a review of all these items talk about how we've actually used them do we like them do I think it's worth the price point do I wish I would have bought something nicer or something cheaper so if you want to make sure to not miss that hit the subscribe button hit the like button so I know you want to see that video and I'll see you guys next time